Hello and welcome to the latest episode of The Board Masters with me, Chris Mullins, and today I am going to be unboxing the core box of Core Space Firstborn, the Kickstarter edition, as you can see from the label there. I did get the all in, and you may just be able to see the expansions over the shoulder there, but there is quite a lot of stuff in there, especially with the terrain. I will be doing a separate video for that, which will be up next week, so hit that subscribe button if you want to see what that entails. But this one is definitely one where the terrain won me over because I've never had a game that had any of that sort of stuff in it. I mean, look at how gorgeous all that terrain and everything is. And it's just so exciting, the thought of the table presence of that and having it just spread out on this gaming table and adventuring around it is just super, super exciting. And a bit of flavour text on the back of the box, so I'll read that quickly. So, at the furthermost tip of the galaxy burns a small white star. Here lie the remnants of the firstborn, an advanced civilization that conquered the galaxy long ago, but were brought low by civil war. For millions of years they slept, but when the traders arrived to pick over the bones of a long dead people, the firstborn were awoken. Now, I haven't played the first core space from... My understanding, there is no sort of connection or narrative threads between the two that you need to have played the first one, thankfully. I mean, it's still kind of strange for me in terms of my history love of video games. I find it completely almost abhorrent to play a sequel before the first game, even if they aren't particularly related. But you can see, as soon as we open this, a nice big sheet of neoprene. Okay, that is looking pretty cool. Very sci-fi artwork. Interesting. Oh, we do have a measuring stick. Which surprises me. I think that may be an optional rule because I, I thought the grid on the map was the, the normal movement system and, and it was like a traditional grid-based movement. But perhaps they have this measuring stick as an optional alternative way of playing the game. Which doesn't bother me quite so much because obviously we got counter attack to the table for the first time last week and that has a measuring stick in it so I have got a little bit of experience with the measuring stick now. We got a little tiny felt bag which is always cool. Not the most impressive that I've had but it's not all about the size after all. Uh, just does that fold open or no? Okay. Be interesting to see what that is about because that's just plain white and there's another longer just plain white piece there. A couple of spare bags, always appreciated as long as they're not over the top. Uh, just got some sort of plastic sheet. Does look like it has the depiction of a ship on there. I hope the camera's picking that up okay. Uh, so I'm guessing that has some relation to your your spaceship. Obviously we have got the, the shuttle uh, expansion that I will be opening in next week's video. So interesting. What do we have here? A variety of different ship layouts by the look of it. Double sided, different each side with different layouts. I mean, one of them's got a medical lounge there. Seems to be the exception. I don't see too many other with rooms, but obviously lots of different things going on there, which are probably going to be linked to this, maybe you'll overlay it and that will give you your, your ship layout. Maybe that I know it's about scavenging and things, so maybe you have limited space and the ship layout is what you can fill up. We've got the core space, sci fi miniatures game, utility dashboards, uh, mini expansion, which I think is one of the ones there. I know that's the enhanced ship dashboards. They're by the look of them, sort of more along this line of sort of 
plastic trays to help keep things organized and things. So I'm probably not going to showcase those, but obviously we will be using them when we do a playthrough on the channel. I believe that will be me and Chris Brown, hopefully quite soon. Ships of disre Disrepute. Oh yeah, so that is an enhanced ship dashboard and those are ship cards. So I guess it just gives you a lot more to familiarize and customize your own ship and upgrade your ship which I didn't realize was a part of the game to be honest. As always, I didn't go, I don't go too obsessive into the detail of the campaigns. If it looks interesting and people seem keen on the gameplay and the first one was pretty well rated on BGG, then I'm more than happy to back it. Got the In the Line of Fire mini expansion as well. Again, I think this is gonna be a game where we have a bit of a campaign on the channel. so. I'll try and get at least one video on each different set of terrain just to show it off and we'll try and get through all of these uh, expansions because the Fury of the Insane God, obviously that miniature is going to be massive and be so cool to showcase that striding around this map. And yeah, they just look very cool. Uh, the Core Space Rulebook. We run in, we grab as much loot as we can, and we run out. If we're lucky, we won't have to fire a single shot. That's always the aim, but I'm not sure there's going to be too much or too many missions where that happens. Yep, so another glimpse of that, those beautiful terrain pieces. Can't wait to get into those. Uh, range rulers. Core space involves a wide variety of guns and other ranged weapons. It's therefore important to determine whether your characters can see and shoot each other. Okay, so there they are for line of sight in the range, as opposed to necessarily the movement, which I'm quite happy with that. And then you've got all the sort of standard things you would probably expect in terms of exploring and fighting and then firstborn stage. Okay, so there's a shorter range ruler for shorter range weapons and then a longer range one. Cool, you've got misfires, drones, skills. So, so much going on. Oh, <laughs> that is a, a sizable rule book. Uh, it's almost like some of the graphic novels I've got uh, on the shelves over there. Wow, okay. I mean, it's certainly an impressive document and it looks pretty well laid out. The artwork is gorgeous. Hopefully it does follow pretty logically when you're actually working your way through it because I know we're currently doing a campaign of Nemesis or probably by the time this goes up, we'll have finished that actually. And as much as I adore the game and I really, really do the rule book, it's just so illogical, <laughs> the amount of times you're, you're sort of jumping from one page to the next trying to find something, the thing that's relevant to you and it doesn't seem to be along with the other things that you would think it would be with. Uh, so hopefully this won't have those problems. But the, I mean, the pictures and everything look absolutely gorgeous in that. There is so many different missions and epilogues. I think I saw mission nine was that yeah mission briefing nine so presumably there are are the nine missions in there plus the other expansions what do we have in here i think this might be our super impressive fury of the insane god miniature in here guessing that is some sort of track to probably like the time track in Nemesis because you're against the clock as you go in and you're scavenging so I would guess that's to do with that and these are probably your player dashboards where you will fit your character into there and then yeah that is an impressive beast 
<laughs> when he's going to be stepping over a lot of the terrain, I think. He looks incredibly cool. Um, let's see if I can station him up there. Just some stands by the look of it. Lots more, lots more of those. Some event cards. Uh, as you'll notice, I don't seem to have my trusty knife to hand. I'm not sure where that has gone. So I may take a little bit longer or be editing out the actual opening of cards and things. So bear with me. Okay, so I managed to get that open. And basically we have the deck of event cards. So we have things like place it threat eradication where you place a drone at a random patrol point and then the drones nearest to a trader make a ranged assault and things like that so there's lots of different things that are obviously going to kick off during the rounds that are probably going to hurt and hinder you as much as possible especially given i know different companies but we've experienced a lot of event cards in nemesis and the great wall and they they don't end well the Dyson reactor activates when hosti uh, when hostility reaches wake protocols. Okay, I mean, it looks very cool. And lots more events, godly arrival, divine insan insanity, gold in them thar hills, breaking news. So lots of things going on there. And then we have this box here, which is always exciting because this is usually when you get a box like this it's full of goodies and this is no exception we've got these incredible looking pair of well they look like sandworms i guess you'd probably call them i mean they are pretty awesome looking oh and then you've got these loose little I'm guessing these might be the drones. That one's come loose off its base, but it should just go straight back on, I think. So we've got these cool little alien drones with their little claws. Slightly different designs between them. Some of them have got two claws, some of them just the one. But they look pretty cool again. Variety of minis were for all the, I think these green ones based on the big boy to my left are going to be the the insane god aliens and again these look really really cool lots of details particularly on the clothing i don't know if we can pick that up on there and i guess they i think they're color coded for each expansion so i can't remember the name of the other one that had the sandworms was it the i think in the line of fire was blue might be the ships of disrepute that are orange, or perhaps even the grey ones. Oh, we've got a really cool little uh, droid here. He's pretty funky. And then I kind of assumed he was a good guy when I first looked at him, but his kind of faceless features now think, make me think he's uh, not on the side of the light, as it were. couple more substantial minis for the the insane god and they look very 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 cool indeed uh see if we can pick those up on there i mean they look awesome like those a lot I'll just okay they've got some dice got some more drones more plastic trackers. Let's have a look at the blue minis. These are the, I've forgotten the name of the expansion already. The In the Line of Fire, that's it. Oh. Yeah, so we got another cool little drone. With uh, very alien features, but they look almost more scholarly in this one. Or at least those ones do. This guy doesn't look like much of a scholar. He very much looks like he's going to be doing some digging and adventuring. A lot going on with that little guy. 
but he looks super super cool and then i guess he's sort of more standard soldier although he's got a very cool backpack it's almost like it's that drone perhaps det detaches because it's got the same four prongs on there let's bring you to this side so your own view and a couple more green ones but i think they're the same uh sculpts as we've got here very very nice indeed and then i guess we're finally getting into this wonderful terrain and again bear with me while i open it up so the first thing we've got here is this sheet of sort of gear and fire tokens and things i'm not sure whether these will be sort of laid out on the map and you stu stumble across them or whether they will just be gear you find sort of in chests and things and then you assign yourself a token to your player board. Be interesting to see that. And then we do have the start of the terrain. So we've got the walls, the hatcheries. Obviously it's going to be double sided given that you're going to be looking at it from all, all sides. But it's to build the alien, hatch uh, alien catacombs. Got some more walls for those as, and again some more hatcheries really obviously going to match the art style up to what's on the map but they've done a really really good job with that again more of the same and i think that one is going to be more of the same as well. and then we have the entrances so we have the hatches with a hatch counter secret hatchway so there's going to be i guess you can maybe scout around and fight, find alternate entrances and then you've got this wide oval entrance as well so different points of entry which is going to make it a bit more interesting when you're playing it and again similar and that piece is called a scatter i'm not sure i guess that may be just be like rubble or loose terrain or then you've got all your struts and pillars in there as well i mean obviously it doesn't look too spectacular in the punch boards but I cannot wait to get this on the table and I think when the when the videos go up with the gameplay it's going to look absolutely spectacular got the alien catacombs so got this funky long green what are these stasis pods uh, so I think you have to actually once you punched it you wrap it got exhaust vents so they're going to be some hazards by the look of it with the fire bursting out and yep so these stasis pods are here so i'm guessing these sort of wrap around on these and then we've got more of the same so again just looks absolutely gorgeous and a third one of the stasis pods huge amounts of equipment and things going on here so we've got uh, obviously your weapons rifles knives no idea what these sort of artifacts and things are or what they do but i'm guessing that's going to be the loot that you're finding and then taking back to the trader encampment i've got behind me there to try and sell that off and lots more uh i think they're they're the same so again doubling up with everything oh and then we got that cool dyson reactor for the alien catacomb reactor rock worm counters now oh, so they're rock worms not sand worms these dudes yeah so they're gonna be coming out of these I guess and they're gonna look pretty intimidating when they come out got the consoles to activate the reactors true born stasis pods I'm not sure I like the sound of what's gonna come out of there we have here uh, i've got our characters i guess the firstborn so these are going to be a lot of the el enemies search counters entry points energy counters hostility tracker so i think that it will be in this by the look of it so you're going to move along to measure your threat and that's going to trigger the firstborn to, to wake and come in and sweep the area to eliminate any hostiles very nice and yeah uh, further expansion so you've got your character boards more equipment and various tokens of oh, fury of the insane god bit so that's going to be with this big guy up here he's the firstborn there 
Very, very cool, very exciting. Uh, more crew and characters. So that's quite a few going on there. Uh, lots of variety and replayability going then. Um, and again, lots more equipment, lots more gear. Got your equipment hold, I think it called it on the back. So maybe that is gonna measure how much storage you actually have. What do we have here? Enhanced ship dashboard. So that's gonna be with the, the plastic ship bit that we had at the beginning with the different ship boards. Okay, cool. And then, oh, these are gonna be the room upgrades on the ship. Like we saw one of them had the medical lounge. This is gonna be the tokens where you can customize and upgrade your ship and just pimp it out a bit, I guess. Never thought I'd use that phrase on the channel. And then we have more of the ruins. So we have some ruined walls and some rubble pillars. Very, very, very cool. Broken status pods and things. So obviously this is gonna be the area of the ruins where they have faced some devastation in the past. But that's everything from the the core box of Core Space. As I said, next week I will unbox the expansions because I've got the Trader Encampment, the Gates of Risa expansion, the Trading Post 5 expansion, and that shuttle that I showed you earlier as well. So we'll take a look at those. I didn't want to crowd it all in one because I figured it would probably take all night. Uh, so, but that is it for the, the first box of Core Space. Let me know if you are excited to see playthroughs on the channel because hopefully it will be coming up very, very soon. And, you know, the amount of them that I do will be reflected by the amount of engagement. So like I said, I will hopefully do one on each different map as such. Uh, but we saw in the rule, core rule book there, there was nine missions. So it may be something that we do a full campaign in the lights of Endangered and things like that. So let me know if that's something you want to see. But other than that, that's the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. Look after yourself, stay safe and have a good one. Bye bye now.